it's Poke, and we having our very first episode of the Poker Celebrity Book Tour. Let's get it. Coming in at number one is John Rowe, please. Major Nines. I get them so ties, got me stuck again. And I ain't never been in love. I swear to God, I want to love again. Ah! So if you don't know who Major Nine is, you really not tapped in. I need you to get in, okay? I need you to figure it out. Before we get into it, let's hop into it and let me tell y'all who I'm rocking. So today I have on a complex hoodie that says trust the process, y'all. If you know me, then you know that it's all about your process. Don't get upset in your process. It's all a part of the story that is meant for you. Okay, so let's get into it. Major nine. So before 2021, I don't really think I knew who Major Nine was. I knew his muse. I knew some of the songs, but I really know who he was. Uh, one day I'm taking a shower and like I hear his voice, but like every lyric he's saying is hidden, like hidden home. So I'm like, all right. Who is this? I stop my shower, I get out, I screenshot him, and I just naturally fall in love with his music. To be honest with you, I'm a fool for lyrics. I love his lyrics. So his voice, his lyrics just made me fall in love with his music. And I was looking at, you know, all of his songs. And on during that time period of my life, just everything I was going through, I was averaging out about 10 songs of him a day. No cap. 10 songs. Um, so, during this time, God actually told me to get a P.O. box. This wasn't the first time that God told me to get a P.O. box, but this was like when it was just knocking on my door. And he basically told me that the next person you sell to, you would not know. At this point, I was shipping out merchandise. I was shipping out books. But I was doing it to like classmates, different family members, um, family that was far, friends that was far. It wasn't just a huge group of people that was purchasing my books enough for me to need a P.O. box. But that was about to change. So one day I'm strolling on Instagram and I see uh, someone tell me to go to Major Non. So I go to Major Non page and he has an address in his bio. Now I have never written a fan mail. I have never been super crazy about celebrities. Nothing of that nature. I wind up getting the address, I put the book, uh, you know, in the packaging or whatever, and I write him, actually, I guess you would call it a fan mail. Basically just telling him, like, how I need him and Tusi to get in the studio. I, don't forget I said that. Um, and then just how much he has helped me, you know, ease my mind. Music is my therapy. Uh, it is. I get through a lot with my music choices. So wanted to thank him for that and say, you know, basically, this book... Um, May help you get through whatever you're going through. Like your music helped me get through whatever I was going through. So I wind up uh, shipping it off. Actually forgot I even shipped the book off. Like I said, this is my very first time getting in contact with anybody. And I am the founder of a nonprofit organization named Pocus Practice. We focus on community outreach in different areas. And then also we focus on um, helping life, helping college students get life skills. Uh, so helping them develop that, such as filing taxes, sewing, cooking, all those type of things. The reason why that's important is I was on the phone with one of my presidents at a chapter, which is at my old college, Texas A&M University of Commerce. So I'm on the phone with the president and I'm helping him, you know, doing this, doing this. At this moment, I'm the regional advisor and I'm the CEO of the national and I'm the president of the national chapter. So I'm just advising him on different things. Now, my babies that know me, my mentees and everybody else. I'm strong poker. I never really have too much emotion. Like, I'm just, do this, do that, but call me if you need me. Like, I'm not really mad or happy or sad to the extreme. So, we're talking or whatever, and I just bust out crying. I'm talking about a hard cry. Like, your granny just died. Cry. I'm crying, and he's like, poker, what's wrong? You good, bro? What's wrong? And I'm running downstairs to my cousin. I'm like, Major, now I'm posting my book. Major, now I'm posting my book. And she's like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I need some water. I can't breathe. She's like, sit down, baby. Let me see the phone. And I'm like, here it is. 
And I called my daddy and I'm like, Daddy, major now I'm posting my book. He's like, who is who is nine? Nine what? I'm like, Daddy, it's a football player, it's a rapper. He's like, a football player hit you. I'm like, oh my God, like just get off the phone right now. You messing me up. Basically, I'm just calling everybody. I'm telling them I'm excited and I'm really just happy that um I had an ear for it. You have to have an ear for things like that. An ear for the P.O. box. An ear. And when I say an ear for the ones that don't know, you got to be in sync with God with that. So it's like to hear God and then take action. And to know that if I'm staying in my lane, was working for me. Everybody's not writing books. Some people think it's corny. Some people think it's lame. But to stay in your own lane, write your book, and then do the groundwork. I know a lot of people, they just focus on going viral. And if that's your thing, by all means, do it. But to me, it's more about the footwork. It's more about the experience. It's more about the passion. So it's like staying in my own lane, realizing that the old strategies work, knocking at people's doors, getting your name out there. That works. Uh, and that means a lot to me. After posting my book, I actually sold out of all the books that I had. And even some of my books was on back order uh, due to major nine posts. I also got a lot of support from his team specifically his producer done the producer mr get it done man quit playing with me he was and he is a huge supporter of my book he posts my book almost every day he tags me and it's the same thing with his music when i see that he done did something i try to support it and share it and just anytime he crosses my mind because it's so genuine um hopefully I'm in Tampa soon so we can link up and we all can go to dinner, man, with the gang, man. Uh, it's been a truly amazing um, situation when it came down to Major Nine and his team. And I thank you and I appreciate you. Don't forget to get in the studio with Tusi and also keep being a lyrical genius. Keep doing your thing. It's okay not to talk about money, cars, and bad females. So, shout out to y'all and I will see y'all on episode two of the Poker Celebrity Book Tour. Bye, y'all. Everybody want a hundred grand on a ride in a bit. Get money. That's the trend to the pants at the door. <laughs> it makes me so happy. I've been crying. Like, I said to my buck, he posted me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I can't even cry no more. I'm on the floor. Look like a green bean. <laughs> It's a good Friday. It's Friday, July the 16th. And we one step closer.